John Wilson is, he's a one-off. For my money, he understands this repertoire better than anybody alive today. His understanding of the exact right tempo upon which Roger's music just begins to bounce and come alive. It's so exciting to hear things like that. Not only does he conduct wonderfully, he arranges, he plays the piano, and he has hand-picked this orchestra of his, which is sublime. I think John Wilson has one of the best orchestras I've ever heard. He's one of my favorite conductors. It's so exciting. I can't wait to get in there and, and record with him. I've always longed for adventure to do the things I've never dared. Now here I'm facing adventure. Then why am I so scared? When Rodgers and Hammerstein collaborated for the first time in the early 1940s on Oklahoma, they gave us a completely new sort of stage musical where the songs were seamlessly integrated into the plot and push the plot forward. In addition to this, you get terrific tunes and beautifully crafted lyrics. Some enchanted evening You may see a stranger You may see a stranger Across the crowd Somehow you know, you know even then that somewhere you see her again and again. John Wilson is a man of impeccable taste, and he has a very, very clear ear for the kind of singer that delivers the material that they are both great singers and great actors. That's where this material that started in the musical theater comes to life. I'm gonna wash that man right out of my hair. I'm gonna wash that man right out of my hair. I'm gonna wash that man right out of my hair and send him on his way. Get the picture. I've tried to give as broad a cross-section uh, of characters as I can, to sort of the Rodgers and Hammerstein types. And we've got an expert, a terrific cast of singers who, who really fit the bill. I've picked all the best tunes that I know and, and I've tried to choose numbers where the orchestrations uh, show off the orchestra. <laughs> I'm Joyce Donato, and I'm in the Chapman Recording Studios in Lenexa, Kansas, my hometown of Kansas City. And we are recording a few songs from the Rodgers and Hammerstein at the movies disc with John Wilson and his amazing orchestra. For me, Rodgers and Hammerstein, they captured such a really incredibly rich period in American culture. I think to be putting an, a stamp on it here in the 21st century um, in a really authentic, organic, and almost reverent way, I think it's, it's just an incredible uh, fortune for me to be a part of it. Rodgers and Hammerstein musicals are so part of the culture, both in America and in the UK, that to celebrate them anew in a way that in, a, in some ways blows the dust off what everybody thinks may be there. And to have John Wilson conduct this material with such passion and such clarity, it, it gives a whole new lease on life.
I chose to record the film orchestrations of the Rodgers and Hammerstein musicals because in 2010 we gave a prom. There was a, a big reaction to that from the public and all the concerts we've done since, we've had people coming up to us and saying, when are you going to release the Rodgers and Hammerstein on CD? And we love playing it and it's such wonderful music that it, it was kind of a no-brainer. That was the next record. We just can't wait for this record to become part of the world of, of musical entertainment. I sit there and think, as I'm listening this morning, of all of my friends who I know are going to fall in love with this music again, just as we are. Which you see, I have confidence in 